And we're back here at Frost High School, KMAC Jim Fortoon. Well, the Bremerton Knights uh, didn't get the start that they wanted in this one, down 26 to 10. But Jim, they made a little uh, flurry of, of offense, giving us some hope for the, for the second quarter. Well, 10 points isn't, isn't a bad number of points to score for the first point, uh, first quarter. The issue is they just gave up 26 points. Um, their defense was, I, th I think the defense is still on the bus. And so, out to a slow start to see if the Knights can't get off to a, a better start here in the second quarter. The Foss Falcons will have the basketball to start things off. The inbounds right underneath us here, high above here at Foss High School. And eight points for Jamie Killian Howard, and eight points for Saeed Abraham Dobashi paving the way for the Foss Falcons in the first quarter of play. I kind of fell behind in my scoring for the Bremerton Knights. I know. Uh, um, Bomer's got two, Tucker's got three, Pete's got two, and Sellers has got three. Yeah, right down to Sellers, the scoring. Thank you for the Bremerton Knights in the first quarter of play. Driving in at a paint, now kicking out. Deflected back into the hands of Killian Howard, who misses the shot. Knights on the run. Pete's in the front court. Cut off there by the defensive of Amir Goins. Pete will set up for a long shot, up and over the backboard and out of bounds. It'll be fast basketball. Knights having a bad, as we mentioned in the pregame show, they were shooting the ball rather well. They didn't look, they didn't look nervous in warm-ups, but obviously when, they, when the buzzer sounded, they nervousness showed. There's another long shot by Dobashi, no good. And a uh, loose ball foul called on foul, so the Falcons. The Falcons. Three, Jamie, Killian Howard. Jamie Killian Howard with the foul. Into the game for the Falcons, number 20, Jonathan Martin, and number one, Ideas Carson. Jonathan Martin and... Uh, IDs Carson will check back in for the Fouls Frost Falcons. Beach will inbound to Sellers, who returns, giving him the basketball back, beating him in the backcourt as IDs Carson for the, the Fouls Falcons. They've shown good defense here in this game so far. Beach for the basketball far side. Flips the back on top to Christian, and he'll serves it up to Tucker. Sets a pick for Tucker for a long three. That may have been deflected, but Beach will yank down the offensive rebound. Sellers for three, no good. Ball tapped up to himself. Aiden Fimley with the rebound. On the run out of back horse, splits the fingers, goes into the lane, bumps into Sellers, who has whistled for the foul. As driving the length of the floor was Aiden Fouls Fimley. Night, 12, and Sellers, Sellers gets him underneath. Nobody stopped the gym on the way to the rack. Oh yeah, no, the, their defense has improved a little bit, but not too much. First free throw. Is good. Entering into the game for the Knights, number four, Trent Bomer. Trent Bomer will check back in for the Knights. Settlers will take a rest for Maya Davis. Next free throw up by Finley. As he hesitates and hits the free throw. 18 point lead, biggest lead of the night. Bomer drives baseline. Skip the pass out for Tucker. In and out, no good. Goins with the rebound. Get out of backcourt. Here's Campbell. Handed by Tucker defensively. Go back out and set up the offense as it gets it to Goins out on top. It drives to the free throw line. Bounces into Christian, and Christian will be whistled for the foul. But Burmese tonight, showing what did I do? I was just standing there, he says. Nope, they call an offensive foul. Traveling violation on the traveling violation, excuse me. I was waiting for something to be called. Yeah, both referees, they had to confer with each other to figure out what they were going to call. And so, no foul, just a traveling violation. To remember by the Falcons. Knights have a chance now to chip into this Falcons lead. who have jumped out to an 18-point lead with 6.26 to go here in the first half. Tucker, far side. Splits the fingers, bounces in, walks to the basketball. Nope, foul on the floor. And the foul is going to go against. We're on the opposite side of the floor. Foul call on the Falcons, number 15, Aiden Finley. Aiden Finley, we whistled for the foul. And then, unfortunately for us, they don't put the fouls up on the board here. So we can't quite keep track of all that. Tucker gets off the pick on the baseline. In and out, no good. Hangs on the front rim and lands into the hands of Amir Goins, who flips it out to Carson in the front court. And on top to Campbell. Nice give and go, but the ball stolen away by our Knights. By Kyle Brown. He gets the Ken Dangle gets the Tucker, drives the lane. No foul call, but Christian with the rebound. Gets it underneath the Bomer, up fakes, goes up with the shot, and gets it to drop. Tritton Bomer hits his fourth point of the night. 
28 to 12. Knights get back down to 16. Long shot up by Gorin. And he hits the three pointer, seven points for him. And it's 31 to 12 as they get out to their biggest lead of the night to 19. Tucker for three. He just had one to rattle and drop. Sam Tucker hit the ripple and the triple. His second three pointer of the night. Knights funny getting the flow offensively, Jim. Well, but I see a concern. Um, Foss is very, very good at shooting threes and, um, and has, has made a significant amount of what, what their points are out there. So Bremerton's trying to match them and shoot their same threes. And they only have really one shooter, and that's Tucker. So the odds on three guys from Foss shooting threes and one from Bremerton, um, numbers don't. Long three is served up that time by Finley. Off the rebound, pulled down, but then flicked it in the hands of Kyle Brown. Speeds in the backcourt. Out of backcourt, Duke controlled the basketball, and then finally touched it last by Nathaniel Campbell. He was just hounded by the defense. He's supplicating defense of the Foss Falcons. It's some good experience for the freshman, Kyle Brown. Beach will get the inbounds. He sets up the play coming out of backcourt. Campbell on him defensively. Here flopping. Here's a bad pass, turnover by Carson. Could be picking his way through traffic and going up in traffic is Finley and he is fouled on the play as he drives into the lane. Going up the shot, he'll find himself at the free throw line. Shooting two. And Fouls of the Knights, number four, Trent whistled for the foul. At the line for the Falcons, shooting two, Aiden Finley. Aiden Finley made his first Two free throws earlier on. Go Ben, flex, and hit the free throw. Entering into the game for the Knights, number 22, Isaiah Caldingo. And for the Falcons, number 21, Casey Williams. Casey Williams back in. Caldingo pops back into Maya Davis's lineup, and Finley gets the last free throw. Last foul was on who? Uh, Bomer, I believe. Yeah, Bomer. Okay. Tucker with the basketball, skips in the front court, gets to his shooting spot, and hits it. That's what he did, kind of spot. Sam Tucker hits his third triple of the evening, and just like that, Knights are playing better now up with the steal, 33 to 18. Brown in the front court, tried to get it into Bomer. Throws it away, the ball is on the floor. Gripping it away is Tucker, who goes up and uses the window and hits. Here come the Knights, down by 13, 20 to 13. Sam Tucker, 11 points here in the first half, the pass underneath. Trying to get it to Casey Williams underneath, overthrows him and out of bounds. A turnover by the Foss Falcons. Knights now with 4.07 to go here in the second quarter. They found themselves now with an unmanageable deficit of 13. Tucker out on top to Kendango. On him is Martin defensively, good defense. Tucker with the basketball, trying to find somebody to get the ball off to. But it was a Bomer on a cross court pass on top to Brown. Left hand dribble on the weave to Kendango. Nice with six on the shot clock, however, you gotta get rid of it. Tucker, radial air reach for 17 and hits. Sam Tucker is heating up. 33 to 22. Nice back in with an 11. And on top to Williams. On him defensively is Brown. Flip the near side to Martin. Cross score pass out to Finley with the basketball. And then we have what? A timeout called by Foss. 30 second timeout. 30 second timeout and called by the Falcons. We'll take one on radio. Now this. You're listening to Bremerton Basketball on your Bremerton Basketball Broadcasting Network. Well, okay, if you're looking for the best Mexican food around for dine-in or take-out for the best authentic Mexican food, it's Los Cazadores, 2805 Wheat Way in East Bremerton. Man, I go get there to get the big old carnitas bur burrito, some salsa, sour cream and guacamole jammed inside of that thing. For the best burritos you can get, it's Akira Los Calzadoras, 2805 Weedway in Bremerton. All right, welcome back here on radio. Came back with Jim Fortune. Well, Jim, the Knights have uh, finally found their groove offensively a little bit. Sam Tucker heating up, 33 to 22, 317 to go here in the first half. And the three from the baseline, too strong. Williams on the offensive rebound. 
Oh, McLaughlin with it was Martin. Finley with it now, drives into the lane with a big one, too. Here is uh, Oliver Christian to get a hand on it and deflect it out of bounds. Good defense by the Bremerton Knights. Active hands by the Knights. 3-0-1 to go. <coughs> Foster will inbounds, get it in to the sharp shooting. Dobosky, back iron, no good. Rebound. Ripped away on the baseline, still fighting for it, and coming out of the fray with it. Sam Tucker behind the back dribble. And almost turns the basketball over. Boy, uh, Flanick trying to get hound, just hounded by the boss defense. Tucker gets picked from Aldi Christian as the ball jabbed away from behind, stolen away. Knocked away by Campbell with the pass down, deflected, and stolen away by the Knights. To Sam Tucker, two on two. Tucker drives in. Mouse and Alice coming up behind him, gets the ball around on top. Christian thought about taking the three. Now to Cadengo, slips into the lane, goes up with a little left hand scoop down, and is fouled on the play. The Knights have found their, their feet in here. And Cadengo will go to the line, looking to cut into the Falcons' lead. That sits at 11 at one point in time. It was a 19 point lead with a little over five minutes to go here in the first half. No, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the Knights actually to fight their way back. I didn't think they were going to. I thought this was going to be a blowout from the start. Nice back within 10. Back with next free throw off the mark. No good. In the front court is Domashi. Out on top to Campbell. Flips to your side for to Finley. Now back to Domashi. Looking to drive into the lane. Against the defense of Ollie Christian. And a hand check foul called on Ollie Christian. Hey, in, that last, in that last free throw sequence, uh, Kendango made one of two? Yes. You know, I've never seen Coach Davis uh, so animated over there. He's, uh, he's really working on the, getting them to move defensively. Campbell with it. Converged on him by the defensive Cadengo. Now he drives in. Another hand check foul call on the Bremerton Knights. Got to, use, got to slide those feet. Yeah, he's using your hands. But this, there's a misconcept, too, about when you're guarding tight that, that the defender thinks they've always got to stay in front of the guy. The guy with the ball is going to beat you most of the time. The secret is not to give up and to stay on his hip and to give the dribbler something to think about. He's, he's dribbling with power and, try, and trying to get to the basket, and then you've got this defender on your back, and he's trying, he's trying to ward off the other, you know, seeing the other defenders coming. So a lot of times the initial defender gets frustrated, you know, thinking, well, I just got beat. No, don't get, if you get beat when you quit. Both free throws are good by Campbell. His four points have come from the free throw line. 35 to 23 now. Knights come in the front court. Pass slips in to Tucker. And again, in turn, he gets the Kandango in the lane, goes up with the shot, can't finish. And then losing control of the basketball is Finley for the Foss Falcons and turns the basketball over right down off to our left. Kyle Brown will inbound for the Bremerton Knights. On him defensively be Martin. We'll get it into Sam Tucker. 133 to go here in the first half. Just nice just trail now by 12. Tucker spins in the lane. Goes in with a 13-footer, too strong. Miss right, but Kendango with a rebound. Go Bomer for three. Got it! Trenton Bomer! It's a bomb from outside. Seven points for Bomer. 35-26. The nice back now with a nine. 108 and ticking here in the first half. Finley eyes a three, back iron. Off the rebound, pulled down by Dabosky. Can't, can't convert, gets his own rebound, goes back up again and is fouled on the play by the Bremerton Knights. Yeah, yeah. Foss has been scored really, really hard in offensive Number rebounding and is paying off. Number 23, Oliver Christian called for the foul. Dabosky at the line, shooting two. So the Knights back within nine, the sharp shooting. Saeed Ibrahim Dabosky. Got eight points in the first half. We'll nail down the first free throw. Anyone that wears brown. Into the shoes. game for the Knights, nice number three, Dolan Anderson. And for your Falcons. I used to wear uh, purple Converse All Star high tops. Well, but we know that you went to North Mason and had no face. That's true. I had no style. Okay, that's a good one. 37 26. Nice trail down by 11 again. They've cut it that big lead. Here's a skip pass. By stolen away by Debosh, he had the pass by Bomer, drives in the lane, and there's Bomer who grabs the basketball, who gets a technical foul as he loses his cool. He punches the basketball out to Sam Tucker, 
And a foul and a technical. That'll give him four, Kevin. They give him a foul on that and a technical. He already has three. Trenton Bulmer, as well as a technical. Yep. Yep, so Bulmer loses his cool for half a moment. Dabashi will be shooting free throws. And just as the Knights got back within nine, they see it at 11 with Dabashi, a great free throw shooter at the line for the Frost Falcons. And he'll hit the first free throw. 11 points for Dabashi in the first half. Gets them both. Now he'll shoot the free throws. And he hits that one. 40 to 26. And uh, these are just money, uh, well, spoke too soon, jinxed him. I was gonna say that's just uh, money in the piggy bank right there for, for Dabashi. I threw the jinx on him. He gets one to two, just Dabashi. And, uh, with all, and then with all that, they get the basketball back. Now trailing it by 14 or the nice Dabashi for three, front rim no good. And over the back and jammed out of bounds. Nice ball. By Casey Williams of the Falcons, nice basketball with 38. Point seven seconds to go here in the first half. And uh, we'll face the backcourt pressure shown by the Falcons. Inbounds to Tucker. On him is Dobosky defensively. He skips out of backcourt. Hands off to Bomer straight away. Bomer's going to be careful with fouls now. Gives off to Kyle Brown. Working against the defense of Campbell. Tucker. Elevates for a 15-footer. Leaves it short. Pulls his own rebound. Gets it back. Goes up, turn fires, and can't the shot. Battling for the rebound is Dallin Anderson, who's checked back in for the Knights. Long pass down to Howard. Gets it down to Finley for a long three. Looks good, and it's good. Aiden Finley drops the triple at the buzzer to wind down the first half of action. And the Knights got back within nine. It didn't see the Falcons go on a run. They go on a 7-0 run to wind down the first half of action. And they go in with halftime with a 43-26 lead. That's well, been a good first half. We'll be back with second half action. When we come back, you're listening to Bremerton Ice Basketball, Playoff Basketball at ISPSports.com. <laughs> 